Okay guys, so the Ali coil kit is in here. It arrived today. Oh, sorry. Um so I'm gonna try to tap it and uh, put it in place uh to replace this this one, this bolt. Actually this is pretty hard right now. <laughs> I think I could probably drive it right now. Not sure, but okay. Um, so first step, I will remove the coils. I will remove the the bolts and the bolts and the the cover. Okay, so first things first, bolt removed. Uh, uh, valve cover removed uh, besides the bolts and the and uh, the spark plug uh, wires you just need to remove this breather here and uh, that's about it uh, you can see here bolt uh, number three this is a little bit of uh, on the bond um, yeah, so it's, well, at least I tried, right? <laughs> the remaining ones mm, look okay, so. Shouldn't have any more issues. Uh, I'm really not sure how I stripped this one because um, I was not over tightening it. Uh, well, I don't know uh, if it uh, was um, cross-threaded or something like that, but uh, well, it is what it is. Okay, so not the most beautiful sight, but uh, to, to be seen, but um, I've tried to protect around here before drilling. I will use the drills that were provided in, in the kit. Uh, it's... Uh, uh, I've never seen a drill like that before. It's 6.2 and not 6, I don't know. Uh, if this is usually available or or, or if it is uh, just for uh, for these helicoil kits okay so I'll try to uh, drill slowly uh, I wish I had something to make sure that this was straight on but I don't so I'll just take it gently and see how it goes That's good, right? I don't know, is this enough? Let me see until... Yeah, but I think it's enough because I'm, I'm not going to tap everything, right? Because the coil is uh, pretty small, so I'll rely just on, on the, the above part, yeah. I'll, I think I'll call it a day. Not sure, probably I'm doing something really bad, but I don't know. Let's let's see it. Okay guys, so I've drilled it and I've uh, cleaned it a little bit. So I've vacuumed it and used the um, cotton buds. So, and this is how it looks right now. So I will now use uh, I will now tap it, but I just realized that um, uh, there's no handle uh, with the with the tools that I bought. So you better have a, a tap and die set, or or else uh, uh, probably you you'll run into trouble. 
Okay, first time ever tapping anything, so I'm pretty sure it will, <laughs> it will be a tremendous fail, but let's see. I'll probably fast forward this moment, right? Not sure if I should already be turning it uh, anti-clockwise because it's not really biting a lot yet. So. But okay, let's, let's see. Also, if it is not 100% straight, I don't think this will be an issue. Because um, the actual bolt uh, will be able to flex a little bit in the half cover as well. So not sure if I should keep uh, pushing it down or if the threads should do all the work already but hmm. this is actually pretty easy well it I'm not saying it's easy uh, doing it. It's uh, effortless. It's not. Uh, it's not taking a lot of strength. That's what I meant. Probably because it's aluminium. So. Uh, at this point, I'm not pushing it down. So. Not really sure if I should or not. But... And there's a. Um... I actually don't don't like this handle. There's a, a lot of play in it. I I set it, but it uh, keeps uh, getting some play. So. Uh, this is from, um, I, I will tell, I'll tell you the brand afterwards, but, well, it's, I think it gets the job done, but it's not, uh, I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's from a brand, I think it's called Tivoli. Not sure if I should go all the way, but well, as long as I'm in here, I will do it. Yeah, for me, I think, I think this would be enough. getting tighter so I think it, um, it's getting to the end so.
Oh, well, maybe it's, it's not that much. Maybe I should continue, right? Oh, I see. It's the... It's the actual uh, aluminium that is stopping the... Maybe it doesn't focus. Stopping the tap from going further. I'll just vacuum it. So this is the the channel after being cleaned several times with uh, um, well the cotton buds. This is how it looks. Okay. Okay. So looking at uh, this is the one original channel, right? This is the one that I've created right now. I see there, it seems like a casting issue or something. So I've enlarged this a little bit, I'm not sure if I... Um, if I created uh, some problem in here. Uh, because I don't see it on the other ones, but... Maybe maybe they are, they are there, because you see there's uh, casting... Uh, line up here so this is for the rockers to to move so yeah. I, I don't think this rotates at all this part so um, I don't see there's there's a problem there okay, so now <laughs> never mind this this was to clean the, the engine I will install the coils okay I, I think I should have gone through uh, should have bought a slightly a uh, larger one, but um, well, this is what comes in the kit. So let's let's see. I, I will put some Loctite in here uh, to help it seal. So um, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. It's going in pretty smooth, so... Okay. Seems good. So, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Now I'll try to to hack that uh, little part, and um, we should be good. if it actually broke or it just bent and how it should be so it seems to me that it's only bent I don't know I'll try to vacuum it out let's see yay it's no longer there so well actually it is but so it's broken. Uh, I guess I can um, extract it somehow. Okay. Probably some cotton buds. Okay, I would say success. So it uh, it stays there pretty pretty nice. So after uh, putting the valve cover on, I'll just have to torque everything down. 
instead of 10 newton meters i will use a little bit less i don't know <laughs> but uh, yeah i think this is uh, this is okay 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 guys job done so uh, i don't know how how many um with what strength i've bolted this down but i find i find it odd that um, they just keep going. I don't know if maybe it's because of the the, the bolts are OEM, but uh, these little heads are not because I've replaced them. I'm not sure if this goes more inside the hole, and um, so this wants to keep uh, just uh, uh, being pushed. I, I don't know, but I've stopped, and it's really firm. But um, I don't know. By by feel, I it doesn't feel like I'm I'm um, uh, actually torquing anything. It's really strange. Um, I won't start the car right now because I want uh, um, the the gasket to seal properly. So um, for now, this is it. Um, I'm sure. Uh, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> that everything is okay and um, I will uh, put a video of the car running afterwards um, other than this I don't know just give me your feedback if uh, uh, if this uh, I, I know this this video is um, uh, kind of boring <laughs> but uh, the idea is for the, someone to actually follow it uh, if you are doing the same the same job um, so it's more uh, to be informative than uh, to be anything else I know I should have some other angles but um, I'm just uh, uh, doing this with the mobile phone if um, I get some views and uh, I see that uh, this is actually helping someone I I might uh, get some some other uh, material to to do the videos, but for now it's just uh, it will be just my phone. Please keep in mind that <laughs> I'm recording this with um, zero views, zero comments, so zero everything. <laughs> um, but I hope uh, it's helpful. Um, if if you if you like the content, uh, please subscribe and uh, for sure I will keep posting because I, I always have a lot to do. 